As a nail tech, I never have time to do my own nails, and I'm sure you guys can relate. So I've picked up the Apris Gel X trial kit here, and I'm gonna do a little demo with it and see how it lasts. So if you like that, just keep watching. Okay, so the kit I have here, this is what the kit is. And I'm gonna open this up and show you guys. Sorry, my camera's really zoomed in because I'm using a macro lens. So this is the kit. I haven't opened this up. I don't even know if there's, a, if there's any um, instructions or anything, but it came with the C, CLs. So I guess that means uh, coffin long. So I wasn't sure if the, it was gonna come with long ones. So I also purchased more coffin long ones in 500. And I also got the, um, the long stiletto ones because I do like to wear super long nails on my myself personally. Um, so let's take a look at the content inside this little kit here. I've taken off one hand to show you guys. I've got some acrylic left over that I didn't bother taking off because whatever. And um, we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna do this on both hands, but I'm just gonna show you guys some demos on this one hand. Let's open it up. So it comes with a brush. And the brush comes with a lid. Some dehydrator, pH bond dehydrator. Yeah, and then it comes with the primer, that's step two. This is a no wipe gel top coat that it comes with. It comes with a teeny tiny lamp, so I, I guess you cure it like that before putting it into your light, just so you can really get it in. I'm not really sure. And then it also comes with the Extend Gel Soak Off Soft Gel. So this is the tip adhesion. Okay, it does come with instructions at the very bottom here. So we're gonna follow these instructions perfectly so that I can see if uh, how well these last. I'm just really excited to give this a try. If this is easier for me and doing my own nails and having nice nails, then I'm all down for that. Okay, so I did plug this into my laptop and that works great, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna also open up the tips to show you guys what they look like, the coffin versus stiletto. Okay, so here's what the stiletto tips look like. So that fits me really well, actually. Okay, and here's what the coffin shape ones look like. So I was kind of expecting these to be longer than they are, because I like really long nails. But hey, these are like a really good average length. And if you turn it to the side, you can see it kind of has a built-in apex. These are kind of cool, actually. I'm kind of into this. I hope these work out and last well, because this would be a lot easier doing my own nails. Okay, I'm gonna do stiletto on myself because I just love it. So you're going to cleanse the nail, which I've already prepped and done that. So now I'm going to apply the pH bonder. So this is just a dehydrator and this will make sure that you have no moisture or oil or anything. You do not want oil on, on your nail when you're doing enhancements. Step three is to apply primer, the non, this is a non-acid primer. And you're gonna apply this now, before anything else. So, let's do that. So primer, you just wanna apply sparingly. You don't need too much primer. You don't wanna get this on the skin. Just a thin coat is enough. Okay, so step four is to take the Extend Gel and the flat brush and apply a thin layer to the fingernail. And I think when they say thin layer, they really mean thin layer. So don't overdo it. You're gonna to wanna to cure this for 30 seconds in LED and two minutes in a UV lamp. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to find the tip that fits which my thumb was the zero. And then you're going to want to rough up the inside here. So I'm just going to use a sanding band here just to rough up the inside. Okay, so then you're going to want to use the edge off flat brush to apply a small drop of Extend Gel, enough to cover the natural nail to the underside of this. So 
So now you're going to place this from base to tip and try to really get out all the air bubbles before curing. I'm gonna place that down and since I'm doing this on myself, this would be easier if you're doing this on someone else, I'm gonna use this finger to push down there and then my thumb to help spread that gel and really remove all the air bubbles. Okay, that's not that easy. <laughs> this is kind of something you need you need help from someone else with, so that's why it's probably better to do this on other people, but I'm sure I can make this work. Okay, so that is a lot more difficult. <laughs> I think I need a little bit more gel in there. Okay, I'm adding more gel in hopes that it'll be easier to get all the bubbles out. Yeah, that was easier to get the bubbles out. So I'm pressing down really hard with my nail just to get all those bubbles out. And now I'm gonna try to cure that with my hand on that. So I know that this is obviously like my first time doing this and trial and error or whatever. So I think it'll get easier the more it gets done. So this is literally the first time I've tried this. So now that I have my tip on, I'm gonna fully cure this on my UV lamp for two minutes and uh, before finishing. So I did get a lot coming out, seeping out the sides here, which we're gonna file and fix up before finish. But I just wanted to do it one more time to show you guys, because maybe uh, the second time I do this, it gets a little easier. So let's try that. So first I'm gonna find a tip to fit. So you can, you can, you can file these if they almost fit, or you can file them around the sides and stuff, but this one's pretty, secure under there, I think. So again, you're just gonna wanna file out the underside here. Now I'm gonna apply a thin layer. So I'm gonna cure this in my little lamp. So now I'm going to apply a blob into my tip here. So we're going to fit this from base to tip and we're gonna to try to secure it down so we get rid of those bubbles before curing it. Okay, so I totally know exactly the issues I'm having with this. It's like I can't press down as easily um, on myself, so you get a little bit air bubbles, but I guarantee that Mark will help me. My husband, you guys have met him. He's been in two videos already, and he will help me push this down until there's no air bubbles. So next time I wanna do my nails, I'll get his help. But I am going to complete my entire set and then show you guys the finished um, result after I get these, these ones done. Okay, so I've got all of these on, but there are mistakes that I made. So I've accidentally got the gel on the skin, which is a big no-no, because -no, gel on skin can create contact dermatitis, and you definitely don't want that. So that's definitely a learning curve, to add a little bit less and to not have it spill out the edge. 
Also, on my middle finger here, there's a big bubble in here. So you, the reason you don't want bubbles like this is because water can get trapped inside and uh, create what uh, what we call greenies. So um, you don't really don't want that either. So I probably won't wear these for a full three weeks. I think I'll give it like I think I'll give it a little bit of time, maybe a week. Uh, see how they're doing in a week. So before I decorate these and stuff, I'm going to file out any extra gel that accidentally got on my skin or around the edges here. So I'm going to put this on a really low speed. You can see that even turning, that's how low the speed is. I'm going to turn it up just a slight, slight amount. Okay, for my first time, I feel like I did an okay job. I definitely see where I made mistakes and where I could improve, uh, but it'll just get better the more I practice. These will be great for nail tacks or people who just wanna do their own nails and don't want much, uh, don't wanna sit and wait for it. But I mean, this still took me time to do it and I still have my other hand to do and decorate them. So they definitely will save me time when it comes to doing my own nails, that's for sure. But they don't feel as strong as acrylics or gel. They feel slightly strange. It's like a, if they feel tight, kind of. Especially my middle finger. I don't know, they just feel different. I'm sure you get used to it after a little bit. It's probably just something that feels like a little bit different just than, uh, than you're used to because it is done differently. And you can see on the side that little, a little bit of apex. Not, not a lot, just a little one. So. I'm gonna decorate these and then you guys can see that in the next video. So if you guys wanna see what I do for decorations, uh, check back the next video and uh, you guys will see how I painted these and I'll have both hands done by then. If you wanna see more videos done with this stuff, please let me know down below what you'd like me to do. Um, obviously I'm gonna do a video soon using the coffin shape. I'll do a video where I shorten them or change the shape maybe. Um, just let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. And be subscribed to my channel and click the bell to be notified for when I do post decorations on this set. So hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong.